Now we are going to look into how we can suspend a task and resume a task. Um, for this example, I'm going to create two tasks. Uh, similar to task one, I need to have two handlers, uh, another handler for task two, which I'm going to call task two handle. And then I'm going to have a task itself, which is going to be task two. Uh, I'm going to just make it a blank task function. And in my main, I need to create the task, which is going to be exactly the same as how I create task one, but I'll just call it task two. The ID is task two and the handler is also task two handle. So I have two tasks now. Now task one is going to be printing hello world with a number um, every one second. And what task two will do is, it will allow task one to run for five seconds and then it will suspend it for five seconds. So to suspend a task, I use a function called b task suspend. And in the parameter, I'm going to use the the corresponding ha the corresponding handler for the task that I want to suspend, which in my case will be my task one handle. And uh, if I want to resume a task, uh, I use the function called b task resume, and again my task one handle. Now, um, if I want it to run for five seconds, then I will use this function um, v task delay. So I allow it to run for 5,000 milliseconds, and then I also allow it to run for 5,000 milliseconds. So, so it allows for 5,000 milliseconds to run, then it suspends the task, wait for five seconds, keeping the task suspended, and then it resumes the task again and then goes back in the loop. So let's see how this program is run. So it starts printing hello world uh, until five, uh, until four, and then it stops for five seconds, and then again starts printing five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then stops for five seconds. And then after five seconds, you can see it running again. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is how you suspend a task and resume a task.